Take your damn lime. Three star pieces. I'll say it's been a while. It's been like days since I played Paper Mario. And the reason why I say that is because I have not been feeling well. But I am back. Not entirely, but I'm here. Okay, so we need Koopa Leaf and Cake Mix for this cookie. Take your damn cookie. A package from him. You may have a little trouble finding him since the booze there look pretty similar. I'm sure you can do it though. A long time ago, when Goompa, Bootler, and I were traveling, we met the Boo and became fast friends. He recently sent me a letter saying that there's a package there addressed to me. Yeah, sure. Alright. Oh, so yeah, fighting enemies here is pointless because you're not going to get any star points. Thank you for waiting. Finally found it. Package. Take your package. Ever since my boo friend sent me that letter, I'd be dying to know what's inside. Damn, you're not even going to tell me? You want a coconut. First you wanted lime, then you wanted a package. You're not even going to tell me what the package is, and you want a coconut. You're lucky I haven't thrown this coconut at you. Get your damn coconut. I don't know how, how to crack it. Good luck with that. Dusty hammer, dry pasta, and another dusty hammer. Okay, so to get this red jar, it's four items you need to buy. So you need to buy the items in this order. You need a dusty hammer, dried pasta, another dusty hammer, and a dried shroom. get a red jar. Here you go, your red jar. It's a little filthy though. At, uh, whatever, thank you. I think that might be the last favor. Because there's not going to be much else to do after this. Okay, so I took a live stream before heading out to the seventh chapter. The live stream, we are going to need it in case if anything ends up happening. So we just go up here. The door should be unlocked. The chimes. God damn. Now we're gonna upgrade Gumbario, then we're gonna upgrade Lack of Luster last. No, for now we'll have Gumbario out. We're not gonna do any fighting so far. A Star Spirit on Ice, Chapter 7. Yeah, hello, this is in the northernmost bird, Shipper City. I'm from Toad Town, very, very far away, yeah? Welcome to Shiver City. We're on alert because a stranger appeared in the city, so I can't let you pass without permission from the mayor. Alright, let's get permission. Get the star piece here. Answer your quiz. Alright, what you got for us? Question. What's the name of the leader of the red and blue Goomba Bros? Goomba King. <laughs> Dr. Goomba Big Goom. Yeah, this is the mayor's house. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You used to be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. Thank you. Hey, uh... No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand saying, Herring way. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh. Dear, you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. What? He's unmurdered? Uh, <laughs> it's a penguin murder mystery. 
Uh, who could have done such a thing? Somebody clipped him. Why, Puffin, you're right, the mayor's been murdered. This is likely a mystery novel, except it's real, how tragic. But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? That man with the suspicious mustache. I just got here. I'm a professional, we got a witness here. Yeah, witnesses don't mean anything. Where's your proof? Your concrete evidence? Show me proof that I did this. Either in cold blood, I uh, saw it with my own eyes. You weren't even here in the room. What's your problem? You don't actually think Mario did it, do you? No, if you're telling the truth, we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. How could such a horrible plot to us hit our peaceful city? I, I don't know. If you claim you're not guilty, party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. Okay. Then these kids are just listening into everything. I didn't even know you can go up here. But there's a chest in here. Oh. An attack sound bad. You can't even leave to go back to Toad Town until we find the person. But now that the guard isn't here... I'll break this ice. I don't know how you just dive into extremely ice cold water like this. Like, that would actually, like, that's unhealthy. Could just fall down this chimney. What in the? Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room. Through the chimney. Ingenious. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? What? Mayor Penguin was murdered and I'm chief suspect? You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I did no such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I, I would be too. It appears as though I should drop at the mayor's house. Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Hmm? Say, hey, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? What? What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it? Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. He definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. What's up, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer? It all makes sense now. No wonder your novel is just so exciting and suspenseful. I don't think he did it. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Ooh, yes, you were good friends. But that was just a cover so no one would suspect you from this heinous crime. Come on, really? You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. He's twitching. Oh my aching ouch! My husband's returning as a ghost. Oh good gracious, hello everyone. What's going on here? What, Mayor? We thought you were dead. Our backroom murder mystery was a wash. What a plot twist. Oh, what are you talking about? Um, I think I seem to remember going to the shelf to get the souvenir for Herringway. Oh yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yep, that's what happened. Gotta be careful, man. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Flow Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But, Mayor, we were thinking that you've been murdered. The whole city has been up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Ah, yes, so sorry. I thought it was rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. Well, he has an idea. 
I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Oh, sorry about that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Whoa, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out to the city. You better bundle up. You got it. Uh, I knew you were innocent the whole time. A backroom murder case, please. How completely silly. That overzealous guy must have read too many mystery novels. You tried to throw a Mario underneath the bridge. Who knows, maybe I'll come back for you. Now I'll just bonk you in the head. Oh, okay, the mayor said it's okay for you to go through. Thank you. Alright, now we're gonna fight enemies, so... I need lackluster for this. No, please, don't tell me. Bruh, <laughs> bruh, I've been waiting for you, Mario. It's been here forever. I mean, you're probably gonna freeze. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm. I learned cool techniques. Check this out. I'm magic? I got magic. I got dodging abilities. Mario, you like magic tricks. You won't like this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trying to get me to hate magic isn't the greatest thing, you know? Alright, well, it's time to end you. Oh, you're alive. I actually don't know how much HP you have. Okay, that one actually hit me. That felt fantastic. Oh, you want to know what else feels fantastic? Just, just give me a moment. Feels fantastic. Okay, that was just me being petty. Maybe you shouldn't have picked a fight with me. Go back home. Okay, so one is missing a scarf and the other one's missing a bucket. Hello, Joe. They found the star piece. I hit you. This is a lot of bull. Which one to take out? I'm gonna take out you guys. Yeah, I took out one. I'm gonna use Cloud Nine. I should have went back and healed. That would have been a better thing for me to do. About 12 HP. Oh, that that's actually a problem. Oh, that is actually a problem. Hold on. Let me use uh smooch. 
get a big chunk of my HP back. Thank you. I'll try to take you guys out. Yeah, but lick attack. <laughs> How much damage does that do? I, I'm kind of concerned. But I don't think I should mess around and find out. Oh. Two. Oh, it's not bad. That was gonna be worse. Whoa. Turn back. Come no further. Turn away or I will eat you. What do you think? What do you think? Scary monster, aren't I? You know you want to run. Fight. What? You will regret this. You look very cool aesthetically, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. Ow. Are you scared yet? Uh. Kinda. I guess. I don't know. That was a very long attack. No, run away! Mario, I was the one time you you shouldn't have to put your thumbs up like that. Ah, you're Mario, yes. Thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm curb I'm called Merle. I care for the star kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you, but not here. Come, let's go to my house. Correct? Here you go. Letter from Dan T and Minnie T. So you want this letter delivered to Gumpapa. Alright. They frighten strangers to try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Nah, I understand. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole a star road from Star Haven, the power of the place has weakened. The star kids have found themselves unable to rise up to the sky. I sent an NG to my father, Merlin, hoping that... I could coax you to come here, because I have found out where the last star spirit is. This came in a dream, a vision of the last star spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held at the top of Shiver Mountain, which lies to the north. Atop there sits the Crystal Palace. The star spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passed, it slowly faded from the memories of local people. And now, no one can remember how to reach a place. There is a way, though, and it involves items that have been passed down to these, li uh, to these lands. Scarf. Wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. You must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City. If you hope to open the way to the Crystal Palace, sadly, that's all I know. If things remain as they are, Star Kids will never be able to rise to the Star Haven. Such a fate would be awful. Alright, you got it. I'm doing it for the Star Kid. This is not for Peach this time. Oh yes, Mario, I almost forgot. There's supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. The legend has handed down in this valley regarding the shrine secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find the shrine and solve the mystery to reach Crystal Palace. Alright. No! I have no way defending myself. Literally stuck frozen. Thank you, Cloud Nine. Okay, we're gonna put the scarf on you and then we're gonna go get the bucket. Oh, he's frozen. Gate to see it. 
Yeah, he has the bucket. Is this bucket? Sounds like those star kids in Starborn Valley are in trouble. I hope you do your best for these little tykes. They're just kids. Best of luck to you. We got it. Before I do anything else, though, I'm gonna deliver these mails. Hey, we got a letter for you. Here you go. Letter for Gumbaria. Lucky day badge. Sometimes makes enemies fail to attack Mario. Okay, this letter is for you. May I not write him a little more often, huh? Ah, it's from your dad. Thank you. To be fair, one lime candy wouldn't hurt. I have like a whole bunch of these, so using one isn't gonna kill me. At least this way I can take this jam and jelly. Lucky day is 7 BP. Sometimes makes enemies fail to attack Mario. It's still a chance, but having this with pretty lucky, it's gonna like increase my chances of not getting hit. I don't mind using super jump charge, but because it uses 4 FP to give me 3 power, and I can just use 1 FP to get 2 power. I think Jump Charge is a better choice just for this. Okay, let's put this bucket on. Cool, bucket hat, thank you. Warm scarf, thank you. What a kind man you are, we'll think we thank you. As a reward for your kindness, we shall let you through our secret. Oh. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowman. Thank you. Can we just break this ice? Again? Hi, this is a problem. All of them are paralyzed to give us enough time to attack them. Badge itself has a 25% chance of having you dodge an attack, which is not bad. It doesn't mean you're completely going to dodge everything. So you could use the lucky day badge if you want, but that's if you're really testing your luck and my luck isn't that great. So for now, I'm just going to take off lucky day. Well, I'm going to I'm going to have pretty lucky, but I'm going to use the 4 BP for something else. Mega rush and then damage dodge. Why not? Yeah, see? That ultra shroom was going to keep falling down the stairs. Whoa. What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me. Imposter, who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper, yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What? what? That's impossible. I'm the one and only Cooper. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying, Mario. You know I'm Cooper, don't you? You recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Why you? You're the one who should shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, moron, er, Mario, you have to decide who's lying. Pick the one you think is lying and whack him really hard with the hammer. Fine, yeah, fine with me. If you think you'll get away with a trick like that, that's fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you. Hmm. What do I decide? Oh, man, guys, this is the hardest choice of my life. I'm not worried. You and I go way back, Mario. I know you know who I am. Don't listen to this idiot. Look at him. He's a liar. Go on, hit him. Hit him. This guy thinks he can pull the wool over your eyes, Mario. Don't let him get away with it. Hit him as hard as you can. Okay. Yeah, what made you think that I was the one lying, huh? 
Must have been luck. No one has instincts that good. I'll trick you. Oh, there's two of you. Well, uh, however... I'm gonna do this. Come back to you in a moment. What do you do with this guy? Yeah, Dizzy Shell. Well, you can't move. How unfortunate. That was a very weird hit. I know you guys saw that. I'm not. Am I bugging? I think it was because the game registered as Cooper still standing. Oh crap. Oh my god. Alright, well, I need a heal. Pretty badly, so I'll just smooch. God damn. I see a damage dodge. Okay, that's one down. We'll just take care of you. Our last upgrade. Well, that's all the super blocks we can find in the game. So all of our partners are fully upgraded. over here. Oh. Oh, you just walk through. <laughs> At last, it is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. We need the stone. Put this in. I just don't keep going. A very long way up. Mega jump badge. Alright, we made it. Crystal Palace. I mean, it's more of an ice palace, but Crystal Palace is what it's called. <laughs>